Greetings and welcome, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this virtual commencement ceremony. Obviously, this ceremony is a little different from those we've held in the past. Today, we recognize our December graduates for their outstanding educational achievements. Let's begin with our national anthem. And now, an invocation delivered by the chairman of the Bradley University Board of Trustees, the Honorable Judge James Shadid. Good morning. I'm not sure that being chairman of the board qualifies me to give an invocation, but I do know that it qualifies me to say thank you and to give thanks to and for all that you have given Bradley University. This past year has presented you and us with many challenges, yet you have found the strength to meet every challenge. And in doing so, we have been strengthened as well. I hope that we have meant to you what you have meant to us, and that you will use all that you have learned here to be a positive force in your families, in your communities, and for your country. We ask blessings on each of you, each and every day, as you move forward from here to live your lives to the fullest. We thank your families, your friends, and all who have supported you so that you may achieve your goals. We thank the Bradley administration, faculty, and staff for making these young people's educational success a priority. You have been a positive influence in their lives, and you have helped them along the path that led them here. To all of you, students, administration, faculty, and staff, you continue to make us proud. You represent our present and our future. You are and will be our ambassadors. By your actions and by your deeds, you will be shining examples of the university we strive to be and hope that we are. In gratitude we pray, amen. Thank you, Judge Shadid. On behalf of Bradley University, our Board of Trustees, faculty and staff, and the soon-to-be graduates, I am honored to welcome you to Bradley University's 2020 Fall Semester Commencement Ceremony. I am Stephen Sanford, Bradley's 12th President. I started my work with Bradley earlier this year and took the helm in June in the middle of the pandemic. I can tell you it has been quite a roller coaster ride for me, just as it has been for all of our graduates, our faculty and staff, and all of you watching. I certainly did exp didn't expect my first job as university president would include an all-campus quarantine, community lockdowns, and a virus that basically took over our lives. This semester has been unlike anything any of us has seen before or could have imagined, but you persevered. 
The challenges presented to us during the last semester of college were immense. Our goal this semester was to be on campus through Thanksgiving, and we did it. We had a few setbacks like an all-campus quarantine, but we did it, you did it. We arrived at this point today because of the amazing work you all have done, and for that, I am incredibly grateful. All of the time you spent studying, writing papers, learning how to learn virtually, finding new ways to do group projects while staying physically distanced and digging deep to stay focused while under immense pressure has paid off. You are graduating. You have completed your degree and are about to become permanent members of the great Bradley alumni family. You should be incredibly proud to have been able to do so under the most unique of circumstances. So congratulations to all of you for this achievement. Normally at this time in the commencement program, the president would introduce the platform party and the board of trustees. However, they aren't able to join us here because of safety protocols. So let me take a moment to tell you about them. The board of trustees are listed on your screen. These folks volunteer their time and their talents to lead this institution to a better tomorrow. There's also an incredible team of administrative leaders at Bradley. I am surrounded by a group of people who are focused on what is best for our students and this institution. They are dedicated individuals who live and breathe Bradley University. If you know any of these people or see them around, be sure to thank them for their tireless effort and devotion. I also wanna recognize the faculty and staff at Bradley. These individuals do more than just teach our students and work in their offices. They are committed to making sure each and every student succeeds. They have high expectations for you because they want you to be the best that you can be. The people of this institution are what make it great and that's what sets us apart from others. As is tradition at Bradley, we have asked a member of the graduating class and a member of the Alumni Association to share some remarks. Thank you to the faculty, staff, friends, and family for joining us today in celebrating our achievement as graduates of Bradley University. Telling your Bradley story is a tough task, and I think anyone on the Hilltop will most definitely agree. Bradley is filled with opportunities, and it seems as though everyone takes a different path, yet ends up at the same spot graduates here today of Bradley University. So as I wrote this in Comic Sans, of course, because that's so on brand for me, I knew I would already have too much to say. Our journeys are filled with dense memories and experiences that shaped who we are as people. The times Dr. Chandra Johnson threw accounting beans at us, and we all knew I never knew the answer. The healthy amount of fear that was instilled inside of us being in the same sales classroom as Brad Eskridge, or, well, Zoom, have all shaped us in one way or the other. But my time here was influenced by being a member of the speech team, Sigma Phi Epsilon, a star in the admissions office, and a board member of the International Association of Business Communicators. But not one of these experiences came without the tremendous people who helped me get here today. Relationships, are what keep organizations alive and breathing on this campus. What has made these experiences the most memorable are the people we've shared them with. In my most recent Twitter poll, I dubbed myself the most well-known man on campus. And while not inherently true, the sentiment behind it remains consistent. The idea of relationships is important. Being a Bradley student isn't just going to class, writing a paper and getting a grade. It's walking back to Fredonia after Bio 101 and deciding what you're gonna do on that Thursday, Tuesday, Monday, or Friday night. It's late night BU and all the shenanigans that become before and after. It's moving into your first house and realizing that utilities are not free, but most importantly, it's the faculty and staff that makes our experiences the most memorable. They want what's best for you and I can attest to that. It's Heidi Rotier, Ann Hollis, Tia Collins, Nathan Thomas, Corey Craig, Brad Eskridge, Amy Fairfield, Janice Williams, Don Kelso, Mitch Griffin, and countless others that have shaped us into the adults we are today, that have shaped us into the future leaders in our workplaces and our communities. Walking to class every day and seeing each of our smiling faces as a reminder of my potential will never leave me, even though I, I'm leaving it. So here we are, 
four and a half years later, and we are graduating in the weirdest but yet most impactful time our nation has ever seen. Yet, I still wouldn't trade any of it for anything in the world. Because Bradley taught me to adapt to the situation and put myself on top. I tweeted, I wish I could be an undergrad forever. And while the intent was definitely a joke, I think I meant it. I am sad about leaving. It's a lot to handle. But there's one thing I know that I'm not afraid. We will miss the relationships that we see on the walk to class, but not fear the relationships we have to make in our future workplaces. I'll miss riding on a bus for 20 hours to Texas with my team, but not fear speaking up for myself. I'll miss walking into the admissions office every single day, greeted with a smile, but never fear that I can't come back. You see, Bradley removes fear from the equation. And I am hopeful, no, certain, that my future life will be changed because of the Bradley family. It's a mutual benefiting system, right? You give and you get. And I am so proud to say that my class gets to graduate from Bradley University. Bradley will now be our past, but never not have an impact on the relationships that forge our future. Thank you again to all the students, faculty, and staff, and most importantly, my family, for helping me get here to who I am today. Congratulations to all of us. Thank you so much for your insights and your thoughtful words. You are a great representative of Bradley, and I look forward to seeing what your future brings. Now I would like to introduce our alumni speaker today. Matt Noe is the Senior Director of Global Human Resource Operations and Employer Relations at SC Johnson. He is a 2002 graduate of Bradley, earning his bachelor's degree in communication. He later earned his Global Executive MBA from Purdue University in 2017. Matt has extensive experience leading HR teams around the globe, he has done work in Latin America, Central America, China, and all over the Midwest. His duties have ranged from leading change management to standardizing processes to employee relationships. Matt has stayed involved at Bradley as a member of the Communication Affinity Group and now as president of the Alumni Association. We are proud and honored to have him here today to deliver the alumni remarks. Please welcome Matt Noe. Thank you, President Staniford. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Bradley University Alumni Association and 70,000 Bradley alum worldwide, I congratulate each of you for your achievements. Today is a celebration of your success and we welcome you to the Bradley University alumni family. As family, we look out for each other. You've benefited from the support of dedicated Bradley alumni already. Whether it's alum who wrote the recommendation that helped you get into Bradley, one who funded the scholarship you received or helped you get a summer internship, or the alum who gave back to the university by funding the remarkable physical transformation the campus has undergone over the past few years. The Bradley community has been here for you, supporting you directly and indirectly. Your time as a student has come to a close, but your relationship with Bradley University is just getting started. Regardless of the twists and turns your life may take from here, Bradley will remain a part of you. I encourage you to continue to take advantage of the network of Bradley alumni available to you. Whether it's for advice, mentorship, referrals, or simply support, there's a Bradley alum who can and will supply what you need. And I challenge you to not just benefit from that network, but to contribute to it. Give of your time, your talents, and resources to pay it forward for those who follow you. Today, as you celebrate your achievement, remember you're a part of a Bradley heritage that spans 123 years. But truly, for the university and for you, the best is yet to come. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Matt. We are lucky to have you as part of our Alumni Association representing Bradley so well. At this time, let us begin the bestowing of degrees. Dr. Walter Zakahi, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, will introduce the candidates. Dr. Zakahi. Let's begin with the candidates from the Graduate School. 
President Staniford, these candidates already holding bachelor's degrees, having met the requirements established by the faculty and the executive committee of the graduate faculty, and having achieved notable progress in their special fields of advanced learning, are presented for their appropriate graduate degrees. Also, the candidates from the five undergraduate colleges, President Staniford, these candidates majoring in programs of the Foster College of Business, the Henry Pendell Slane College of Communications and Fine Arts, the College of Education and Health Sciences, the Caterpillar College of Engineering and Technology, and the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences have completed the work prescribed by the faculty and are presented for their appropriate degrees. Okay, this is totally my favorite part. On the rec recommendation of the Dean of the Graduate School and the Deans of the respective undergraduate colleges, in accordance with the requirements established by the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of Bradley University, I hereby confer upon you the degrees for which you have been recommended by the faculty with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Thank you, President Staniford. You will now see slides with each graduate as we recognize them individually for their educational accomplishments. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduates. Hola Yemi Iabode Adedoja. Flora Akins. Brittany Annette Andra Bollinger. Megan Lee Brosnan. Brittany C. Buell. Sheila Amefa Charno. Kaylinda Joe Dunning. Inez W. Edmondson. Ndidiamaka Ezuma. Ruby Loretta Hines. Catherine N. Imbia. Christy Jaster. Andrea Lapp. Doreen Olith Michael. Danielle Molina. Kwa Dong Huen. Jamie Nickel. Rachel Renee Parker. Angela Jean Robinson. Susan Ruffalo. Fifi Francis Thomas. Viani Ogechi Uzuma. Kimberly Marie Vicentine. Gregory Allen Yant. Jessica Lee Eward. Anwar. Deborah Lynn Baldwin. Claire Gray Bartos. Jacob Jeffrey Bowman. Scott Bringhurst. David James Bumpus. Anna Lee Resiak Clancy. Lindsay R. Dale. Sherry Ann Duto. Kristen Dady. Katie Marie Ellison. Jessamy Lynn Slaughter Erickson. Alyssa Ray Fatigue. Jadiki. Zachary Grant Fuelberth. Sai Purnima Naidu Gade. Bol Guy. 
Laura Vanessa Garcia Quintana. Tesha E. Garrity. Catherine Graff. Marlene Jacqueline Graves. Chelsea May Hainan. Nicole Lynn Heller. Joshua Robert Hermasinski. Derek Hinderleiter. Shelley Horton. Adam Gregory Jarman. Kate Marie Jorgensen. Obedullah Khan. Cynthia Lynn Kilbasa. Lorene Jeanette King. Lucas Todd Cockler. Ramesh Krishnasamy. Sharon Joy Krupski. Christina Marie Laborde. Maya Ladaski. Tamika Lampkin. Natalie Renee Labordi. Xiao Hua Ma. Rayanna Martin. Tashai L. Mattis. Jennifer L. McMurtry. Mayuri Mera. Muhammad Abdul Aslam. Kelly Nicole Montgomery. Christine Marie Nave. Sandrine Oledima Orji. Dean Owalabi Ocean. Tiffany Lynn Owen. Sarah L. Peters. Cassandra Nicole Phillips. Juanane Dantenia Register. Rizwan Ahmed. Kimberly Ann Robinson. Tierra Robinson. Ashley Alex Rock. Wesley Elliot Roman. Lori Elizabeth Cesarevich. Jason Ray Schallenberger. Bridget Ann Sharkey. Melanie Ann Smith. Lynette Wolfley Steger. Matthew Allen Stringer. Megan Catherine Tarr. Faith Thorpe. Emily K. Walker. Rosita Perez Walker. Katie Lynn Young. Ali Asem Abdel Salam. Ayed A. Al Rashedi. Abdulaziz G. H. Altawalia. Matthew Emerson Alwan. Marissa Ashley Anderson. Andrew Carl Arvizu. Rianne Caitlin Bach. Angelica Maria Baestas Correa. Jacek Michael Ballinger. Brian Michael Barosio. Giselle Barasa. Kyler Jacob Bash. Anna Bowerly. Isabella A. Babanek. Dylan Scott Beckyu. Alex Dean Bell. 
Alexander Robert Bilek, Natalie Rose Bittar, Gregory Allen Blevins, Noah Edward Bollinger, Brian Edward Bond, Brandon David Bonham, Lucinda Grace Boucher, Juliette Elise Boyer, Greg Brandt, Cullen Ronald Breeden, Bryce Frederick Brecky, Devin Tay Brevig, Luke Alexander Brinker, Marceliano Antonio Briones, Jarius Robert Brookins, Jenna K. Brooks, Hannah Lily Brownfield, Nina Tai Bui, Charles Michael Calvo, Christine Madison Campbell, Jessica Camille Carayos, Nicole Ann Carlson, Brennan Carlisle, Alejandro Castillo, Adam Rupert Chase, Lorena Chica, David Chiraca, Caitlin Nicole Coffey, Ryan Christopher Connolly, Courtney Travis Cooks, Luke Andrew Coop, Ryan Patrick Cosner, Anna Ruth Coulter, Adam Mitchell Cox, Justine Louise Cusack. Sarah Nicole David, Kaylee Jewel Davis, Kayla May Davis, Juan Pedro de Luna, Evan Kenneth Fry Decker, Jacqueline De James, Austin Michael Dembski. Cyan Lashawn Dent, Matthew Ryan De Poister, Andrea Rose De Pau, Caitlin Rochelle De Priest, Morgan Rose Dusing, Megan Lee Eberhart, Paul Gerald Evers. Abigail Marie Everson, Caleb Andrew Fenolio, William Wesley Fine, David Fleeta, Frankie Rose Fleming, Ian Gabriel Garcia, Arlena Michelle Gardner. Nathan Edward Gedvillis, Matthew Robert Gibson, Jacob Matthias Knatz, Emily Ann Godin, Anthony Robert Gonzalez, Sarah Janelle Gunter, Morgan Elizabeth Gustafson. Tori Ray Heisma, Lila Evie Hall, Patrick Donald Harper, Dina Herrera, 
Daniel Marvin Herman Kelly Josephine Hicks Jalyn Lakota Henricks Sierrani Julia Audrenice Howard Dawson Wayne Hubs Nina Monet Nicole Ingram Emma Marie Jackson Riley Allen Jewell Trajay Johnson Michael Brandon Jakubowskis Zachariah Dean Jungers Lindsay Ray Kalman Justice A. Kasel Brett Michael Kaufman Owen Michael Kelty Griffin Erscott Kwan Kemp Cameron James King Brian Joseph Korn Michelle Ashley Karuna Cassidy Ann Kraft Devin Gorman Kramer Abigail Ann Kubaleski Kaylee Ann Karapas Aileen Anya Kuypers Anthony Thomas Landall Joshua Stephen Law Ethan Lakin Letterer Samuel Joseph Lee Joshua Antonio Lilly Nathaniel John Logan Gloire Lacombe Bailey Ray Longman Sarah Francis Maddox Luke Allen Merrick Alex Josia Mason Cameron David Mays Joseph David McGrew Jacob M. McKee John Sutter Mertens Harsh Bimal Mehta Victoria Menashe Anna Noel Menemeyer Peter Dominic Menza Blake Aaron Mesmer Karina Berenice Michel Colleen Rochelle Miller Drew Allen Vaughn Miller Robert Allen Miller Stephanie N. Mitchell Sadiq Abdukadir Mohammed Jennifer Ann Mojo Deja Takendra Monroe Dominic Michael Monsivais Jessica Elena Moreano Kristen Marie Muller Peyton Edward Mulligan Justin Philip Musman Draven Alexander Nelson Devin Michael Noonan Nicholas Joseph Novak Brian Alexander Olewski Abigail Brooke Olson Clinton Osei Christian Elise Pacey Christopher Thomas Packett Joseph Abraham Palakiel Alyssa Janae Palazzolo 
Ryan Michael Palubin, Sahil M. Patel, Tirth Sanjay Kumar Patel, Nicholas Emil Alexander Payne, Ariel Pena, Sophia Mariana Pensabene, Alex Michael Peters. Michael Gerald Flam, Robert Lunn Pitts Jr., Anthony Joseph Pomponi, Jermaine D. Potts, Seth Alexander Potts, Jack Fleming Power Wavon, Nazareno William Provenzano. Emma Grace Rally, Rodrigo Ramirez Jr., Hannah Lee Randall, Kayla Kirsten Ray, Thomas Jefferson Ray, Eric Daniel Reed, Todd Charles Ray. Connor Ivan Reese, Caleb Brian Reese, Rachel Ann Romero, Emily Rosengarten, Jonathan Douglas Roth, Jacob Allen Rudy, Parker Jordan Ruggiero. Tanner Timothy Ryan, Sakib M. Sarkar, Ashley Michelle Sasso, Tori Danielle Sales, Eric John Schick, Crystal Janice Scott, Elizabeth Ann Sipe. Lauren Estelle Schaefer, Thomas John Shaw, Derek Shelton, Ashley Christine Slack, Leah Grace Smith, Christina Valerie Soteros, Alberto Soto. Frank D. Soto, Reed Madison Stahl, Bradley Ray Stalker, Alex Anthony Stegman, Michaela Marlene Salter, Daniel Dennis Sullivan, Bridget Lynn Shidlow. Nathaniel Thomas Taylor, Corey Michaela Thompson, Dylan Reed Tippett, Vivian Tran, Daniel Andrew Varela, Benjamin Seth Wagoner, Ronald Eugene Walter Jr. Derek Fuyu Wang, Joshua Paul Weaver, Dejay Lashawn James, Jacqueline Rose Weller, Ashley Nicole Wurzler, Anthony David Wessel, Joshua Dennis Wetterich. Nathan Michael Wilhelms, Marshall Fowler Winstead, Garrett Lars Wintermeyer, Khadija Davia Yearwood,
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating all of our graduates today. Please stay connected to Bradley. We want to hear from you. You are now part of the alumni family. I know most of us hoped we could do this in person, but I am glad we are able to recognize your accomplishments and celebrate your achievements. As we conclude our commencement ceremony, please enjoy the re this rendition of the university's alma mater, Hail Red and White. The words will be on the screen. Graduates, congratulations once more. I wish you the best of luck in all that comes next. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day.